That's before we started our first meeting on day one. So we're lucky because uh, uh, this, I think, is the most impressive. So this is basically a development platform that we use that we use internally to debug and so on. So this is really the first silicon we we have uh, we we have back from uh, from the fab. So the idea is really this is running on a uh, on a uh, full HD uh, display. So I wanted to give you a glimpse uh, of uh, just having the silicon back working with a few drivers and so on and make it and make it a stable platform. Of course, this is nowhere uh, near to anything <laughs> final because, you know, uh, there is a ton of work we need to do and optimize. Uh. So let me show you what what we did with uh, Faceworks, so this IRA. So this is using a special version of OpenGL. This is OpenGL ES 4.3, right, Igor? Oh, yes. OK. So now, if I put a PC here and put it next to you, and you stay like one meter away, I think you will not notice any difference mm -hmm. between uh, running on a, on a, a GeForce platform and uh, running on a mobile. So you see this, this example here on, let me see if I can make it once again, you see, you see, the light is coming through, and basically it's, uh, it's sort of filtering the reddish color of the veins and so on. And so that's called sub subsurface scattering, right? But it's impressive to see, you know, the realism of the eyes. Now, yeah. you know, if you're in front of a carrot that's really staring at you, you see, you, you see the, the wet of the yeah, eyes, yeah. you see the reflection, and uh, you see the skin incredibly detailed is done, right? And there is a lot of tessellation going on in there, right? The movement is pretty accurate. Really? So this is something that, again, you know, I, I, I always try to put in perspective for you. It's like 250 watts versus 2 to 3, running almost the same quality. But again, this, you know, when, when you show something like this to developers, they, they, they can foresee, wow, this is how much I can target and I can create, you know, compelling content that can differentiate from the others. That's very impressive. <laughs> okay, let me show you a second demo. So we did another demo island. This is specifically to show you the uh, how tessellation works. Oh, okay. okay. In terms of quality, you see the reflection in the water, the transparency is pretty impressive for for a mobile device. So as you know, everything we've seen here is made up of triangles, lots okay. of triangles, right? But if I I may remember, I need to remember. If I show you that, so this is the number of triangles, so I put in wireframe mode so you can see all the, okay. all the triangles. So this technique has been existing on the PC space for quite some time, and this is something that developers really master now, because it's really an effective technique to not only uh, make objects much uh, rounder, for example, mm -hmm. you know, you always end up, if you look at Formula One or other games, yeah. they always look a little squarish, right? So the more polygons you add, the better shaped the, the image can be, whether that is you know, a head or a, an object. So I'll let, I'll let it run through so you see the amount of uh, polygons that are happening. By the way, that's the Nvidia logo. No. <laughs> yeah. So when we come back, so if I now, for example, switch the selection of, basically now you're calculating the entire amount of, uh, of polygons. It's not being clever. Let's say, right? Because, for example, if I look farther away, well, my eye cannot distinguish the difference, right? So it will be more visible on, on the front. And so that's yeah. where you add more polygon. On the rest, you try to discard as many polygons as possible to make a smooth frame rate. But as soon as I, I switch it back on, you see the image becomes very, very fluid, very smooth. Frame rate is perfect. Frame rate is perfect. So, so just these couple of demos, you know, when you look at what is possible today with, uh, uh, with Tegra 4, which is already incredible, but this, the, this adds uh, several new techniques, uh, more powerful GPUs, easier way for them to transition from one platform to the other, 
and the liberalism would be dramatically better than, than the best thing we can do today. That's it.